Hi there, my name is Gladys. I'm Porta Bandeira from União da Mocidade from London. I'm very happy to be here, sharing a bit of my culture with you. Have you heard about samba? Carnival. Brasil. Yes, excellent. Now we have a great opportunity to learn a bit more about the history. Come with me, have a look. Samba was created in Brazil, originated from old drumming brought by Africans who came as slaves. This drumming, or batuques, were generally associated with religious elements through music and dance. The rhythms of batuque gradually suffer influence from other types of mu European music, as a polka, waltz, machiche, among others. The word samba means fun, party, also it could mean navel or heart. It seemed to apply to Angola's dance, characterized by umbigada. Initially, the African slave dance parties in Bahia were called samba. The birth of samba was at Reconcavo Baiano. Especially the custom of dancing, singing, and playing round instruments. After the abolition of slavery in 1888 and institution of the Republic in 1889, many Africans went to the capital of the Republic, Rio de Janeiro, in search of work. However, any African cultural manifestation during that time was viewed with suspicion and criminalized. Thus, the grandmothers or aunts that was Afro-descendant matriarchs welcomed the drumming parties. The most famous was the home of Tia Seattle. Samba schools emerged in 1920s by popular classes. The first Samba school would have been Deixa Falar, founded in 1928, which became Estácio de Sá School. Another pioneering Samba school was Vai Como Pode, which is currently known as Portela. The Samba schools were the development of the codes and arranged, and the first dispute between them took place in Rio de Janeiro in 1932. The Sunday schools and the carnival in Rio de Janeiro started to become well known in 1960s when they created Samba Redus. In 1984, Sambodromo or Passarela do Samba was created to host the parades of the Samba schools in Rio de Janeiro. The carnival in Brazil started around the 16th and 17th century when the Portuguese introduced Entrudo in Rio de Janeiro. Entrudo is the name given to the three days preceding Lent. It was a game in which people played water, eggs and flour on each other. This popular game was established in Brazil until 19th century, disappearing from country in the middle of 20th century through the repression by the police. The empire elite created carnival balls in clubs and theatres. There were no carnival songs, and the dances of the imperial capital was focus where played mainly. At the end of the 19th century, seeking to adapt to attempt at the police discipline, codes and ranches were created. Ranches were processions practiced mainly by people of a rural origin. The carnival machines also appeared during that time, highlighting the figure of the Chiquinha Gonzaga with the song O Abrialas. Other great singers from that time was Carmen Miranda and Francisco Alves. 
The machine has lived in notoriety with samba from the 1930s onwards. This decade became known as the Machines era.